Hey, check out this meatloaf right here. Listen, it's budget friendly, it's easy, it's moist, and check it out. That sauce that we're gonna put on the top is killer. Let's get it. First thing you wanna do is you wanna measure out all your ingredients for those of you guys who are gonna be doing the measurements, right? So look, I got the glaze and everything over here on this side, and then if you look over here, I got these, you know, ingredients over here. This is everything that's gonna go inside of the, you know, with the meat to, you know, make the meatloaf, right? Hey, and as always, the full ingredient list with the measurements will be down in the description box below. Let's get it. Okay, look, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preheat my oven, right? I'm gonna preheat this to 375 degrees. This right here is what I use for the meatloaf, right? Look, I want you to pay attention to that. It's got the holes in it. So listen, a lot of people tell you you want to use like 90, 10, you know, a leaner meat, right? But this way you can use, I've even used 73, 27, but I like to use 80, 20, right? You set it in here, you form it, then when you take it out, what does it do? It drains. Now, for those of you guys that don't have, you know, this apparatus to go inside of there, you can always get yourself some parchment paper and do it. Or you can do it old school like me. Like I used to do it, and we just come with the pan. Okay, so since I got everything set up, remember the parchment paper for those of you guys that don't have, you know, this right here. But I'm going to go ahead and just spray it, just to make sure nothing sticks on the side, right? And then, of course, I'm going to take this, spray just the bottom of it, and we just let this sit up, and then we work. So when I tell you it's a dump and go, it's a dump and go, right? So I'll go ahead, look how fresh this ground beef is. This right here is 80-20. Just, you want to put everything in here. Now that I'm looking at my bowl size, probably wish I'd have got a bigger bowl, you know, but we'll work with it. I have some of these onions. I like a lot of onion in there in mine. I'm gonna hold some back, right? This right here, just sprinkle our seasoning on the top. Now you guys use whatever seasoning you like, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and just get you in the ballpark. You know what I mean? For me, I like to use everything Creole. So look, now I'm putting in the Creole kick, right? I put in about a tablespoon. Listen, this is the perfect blend to give it that kick. Now, if you guys want to, this is where you probably put in two table, two teaspoons, listen to this, of Italian seasoning. That's if you want to do that. Now we come with our pepper. Now I'm gonna hit it with pepper twice. You know what I mean? Cause this is only gonna go so far. You know what I mean? Then after I get it mixed, halfway get it mixed, I'm gonna add some more. For the salt, I'm gonna do the same. I'm just gonna give it one generous pinch leave it like that and then we'll come back to it right so now we're gonna get in there with our hand and now what we're gonna do is we don't want to like just beat the meat up right like roll it all tight so we kind of like just gonna crumble it you know just like this just to get it broke up right once I get it broken then I'm gonna add these eggs we just want to get it halfway and I like to make a little indentation like this I don't know if can you guys see that I like to start like that right so now let me go ahead open up an egg Drop it in just like that. Check it out. We're just gonna fold it over, make sure we break that yolk, and then we're gonna get it to start working down in some of the other meat. Now for me, I just kinda like just fold it over and just work with it generously. Now, let me clean these gloves off. You know what I mean? I wanna go ahead and add a little bit more salt, just one more pinch, and just a little bit more of the, uh, of the black pepper, and then we're gonna go ahead and form it. So look, as you can see, you can see the kosher salt on the top. You can see the black pepper. And I'm just gonna give it, you know, a few folds over. And this is it right here. You just don't wanna overwork, you know, your your uh, your ground beef. You want it to be as loose as possible, but you still want it to be thoroughly mixed. Look at that right there. That's what you wanna get. Okay, so look, look, I done brought my pan into this right now. You know, this is my meatloaf pan. I gotta tell you this. You don't have to have one of these. You know, you can get yourself a regular uh, baking pan. You know what I mean? Uh, you can spray the bottom of it. You can put this meat on top of that and just form it with your hands and do it that way. Now, I'm gonna give you guys another little tip. Look, there's some things that you can do right now that, you know, like level this up. I could have put cheese in there. I could have sprinkled cheese, made it like that. We could have put a little, some A1 sauce. And then if you guys been watching some of my other videos, you know, I use uh, W sauce. Hey, and for the W sauce, go ahead and answer the comment. You know, ask the question down in the comment section below, you know, what it is, and everybody gonna tell you. It's the worst, just whatever it is, that's what it is. But you know, if you're watching this channel, we gonna call it the W sauce. Now, let me say, come on in here, and I'm finna show you how you get down right here. Okay, so look, now we're gonna go ahead and start filling up our meatloaf pan, right? So for me, I just take it, and I don't wanna push it all down right now. I'm gonna do it like this. Oh, you know what I wanted to say too, while, while I was uh, talking about things you can do to level it up? A lot of times I use one pound of ground beef 
and I use a ground uh, pork. You know what I mean? These are things that I do to make it, you know, super moist. Now, I'm not gonna pack this all the way down like you think. I'm just getting it so it'll feel, get rid of some of the air just around it, and then I make this little line. That's what I'm gonna show you, because you know what? Presentation is everything, right? Look, I'm gonna take my finger, I'll take these right here, and I make a little indentation as if I'm packing it down like that. Just on the edges only. Then I'll take my finger, kind of like just bring it around, and we're just gonna put an outline on it, just like this. So this part will be kind of like raised up, and we go like that. Now I just wanna get this pretty much level. Okay, so look, when you're done with it, it should look like that. You can see I made this little valley, this little edge right here. In my profession, what I used to be, that we call that a bevel. You know what I mean? We just put that right there. It'll catch any of the, the fat that renders off on the side, easy to get it off, all of that. And then don't forget, we got it on the bottom. Once it's cooked, we can lift it up. Hey, but enough talking. Look, I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 40 minutes. But how do we know it's done? We are gonna hit it with the meat thermometer, stick it down in the middle, and we are looking for 165 throughout. So we'll hit there, there, and there. So we got our ketchup, we're gonna come with our brown sugar, salt and pepper. Hey, I want you guys to remember, listen, the whole full ingredient list with the measurements are down in the description box below. Now, get yourself a whisk. Those of you guys don't have that whisk, you know what we're gonna do, use. We're gonna go old school and keep it, you know, do it with that fork. Now that we got this incorporated, look, most important thing, we gotta taste as we go, right? So let me go ahead and get myself a spoon. Hit it like this. This way we can make any adjustment to it right here. Whew. Don't need nothing, folks. Okay, so look, my timer went off, right? I just checked the internal temp. We about 145, but check this out. We finna coat this. We gonna go back in the oven for about another 15 minutes. But what we looking for is 165 degrees. And again, we want it there, there, and there. Now, I'm just gonna take this and all we gonna do is just coat this on the top, right? Then we gonna continue to cook it. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You know what I mean? Because we started out this way, just to get the loaf, I could have put this and put it on a pan, right? That way we can get it on the sides. Hey, look, we're not trying to overcomplicate this. This is gonna be fire. Even when it's out and I get it set up, I'm gonna coat a little bit on the side anyway. You know what I mean? It just won't be cooked on there like paste, but trust me folks, it's still gonna be fire. Okay, so look, now we are going back in. Don't forget, we are looking for 165. We are gonna start our timer for 15 minutes. Okay, so I want you to take a look at that right there. That right there is just right. And I checked the eternal temp. We at 168. Okay, so look, I done let it rest for about 10 minutes. Actually, it's been about 12 minutes, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up right now. You can see it just breaks loose. You know, I'm gonna run it like this just to get anything off the excess. And I'm gonna just set it right here for right now, right? And this right here, we discard this. This is just all the fat and everything that came off. I'm gonna take my thumbs. Look, if it's cool and you let it cool for at least 10 minutes, it should be, be able, you know, cool enough for you to touch it, right? So I'm just gonna take it and you should be able to just slide it like this. We'll just slide it out. Uh oh, hey, check this out. This piece right here broke off. You know, where it wrapped around this little part right here, but check this out. Oh yeah, it's fire, folks. All right, so we'll just slide this like this and let that rest, continue to rest right there before I slice it. If you would like, remember I'll save you some of this. You can go ahead and just put this on here like this, just to get a little coating, just to put a little bit more flavor on it, right? And don't trip. If you got one of my boards, listen, you've been cleaning it, keeping everything, you know, nice and clean. You know what I mean? And sanitized, it's okay. You know what I mean? That's why we got cutting boards. Okay, so look, you done see me cut it, do all of that, and you know, of course you gotta have the potatoes, right? Only thing missing is, you know, the peas, you know, if you wanna keep it traditional. But listen, I'ma go ahead, cut me a piece, you know what I mean? Hey, it's just super moist. Notice I don't use no knife, you know what I mean? We just hit it like this. This piece already broke off and ready for me, folks. Hey, cheers. I don't know, I'm finna go back. You know what I'm saying? Just to make sure I'm tasting what I'm tasting, right? Oh, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. 
Get myself some of these mashed potatoes. Super moist meatloaf. Mmm. Hey, super fire. And I know all the time you guys get a chance to see me, you know, I'm, I'm tasting the food and doing all that, but check it out. I got a guest. Come on, man. Bring yours over here. Look, you guys should know him. He, you know, he was in the last podcast. Hey, I'm going to introduce him how he introduces himself to me, right? This is my boy Spinelli. You know, he out here and, uh, hey, he flew out here. Actually, he flew to Vegas, came out here to Riverside just so we can take care of a little business down this way. Hey, but go ahead and eat that and then you can tell him what you think. Yeah, man, I've been sitting over there waiting on you to finish this up, brother. <laughs> Hey, I don't, you know what? I'm going back in my damn cell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the topping that, that... It's a combination of everything, but that sweetness... Oh, the man. The sweetness? That, that Creole kick, man? It's working. I told you, homie, it's fire. Okay, now look. With all of that being said, listen. You guys seen I cut everything on, the, uh, on my cutting boards, right? And I want to say this right now. Listen, thank you to everybody that, you know, bought the boards. Listen, we had sold out just for a hot second. Look, we got the boards back. They're ready to go. If you guys want to get custom text, just click that button. Look, the website and all the information is down below. You know what I mean? And uh, anything that you buy that's on my website that's over 100 bucks, it'll be broke down into four easy payments if that's the option you want. Meaning, if it's 100 bucks, you'll pay $25 tonight. You get whatever you want and check it out. It ships. It's, you don't have to wait for it. So with that being said, listen, this is my boy Spinelli. Hey, look, I just want to say, hey, thanks, bro. We took you a lot of business. There's a lot of things you guys are going to be seeing from the Wing King and all of that. So listen, look at his look for his information down in the description box. All of that. You saw it on the screen. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, listen. It's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, I got something else to eat. I'm out. Peace.